Finally, the most awaited update about Honda Active Electric Scooter. Honda Active Electric Scooter finally gets a confirmation date about the launch date. When can we expect the Honda Electric Scooter in the market? What are the specifications? Let's explore in this video. Namaste, I'm Krishna Chaitanya Mandela, your EV bro. Recently in an event, the CEO of Honda himself announced that Honda electric scooter is going to be launched in India by March 2025. Even previous videos, we mentioned that Honda planning to launch active electric scooter by March 2024. But there are some reasons they have delayed that electric scooter. Even that particular question also, the CEO himself answered that. So due to some particular reasons, they want to postpone the launch of Honda Activa electric scooter. That is what happened. The new launch date of Honda Activa electric scooter or Honda upcoming electric scooter is by March 2025. Now the second question is, is Honda really planning to launch the Activa electric scooter in the market? or will they going to launch any new designed electric scooter. As of now, the majority of the EV experts opinion says that Honda planning to launch the active electric scooter in the market only. But there are some rare chances that they might introduce a new designed electric scooter as well. So most of the chances Honda Activa are going to be launched in the market by March 2025 itself. Now the second reason why there are majority of chances Honda are going to launch the electric scooter by March 2025. They already set up an electric vehicle technology platform in Karnataka. They have already established an electric two-wheeler manufacturing plant. So the operation is going to begin by December 24. So that is the reason we can connect that they are seriously planning to launch the electric scooter from EV segment. Now the third thing, what are the specifications we can expect from Honda electric scooter? The first is first, we can expect advanced features like touch screen display, OTA upgrades, smart connectivity features, similar to its competitors like Ola, Aether, TVS, whatever the advanced features they are offering. Similarly, Honda going to offer this kind of specifications as well. And, and most importantly, they are going to offer a performance electric scooter based on the competition. And in terms of design wise, they are going to offer a lightweight electric scooter aerodynamic design as well. So considering the range factor. Now most important thing, Honda might offer a battery swapping system along with the scooter or else they need to offer battery along with the scooter. Firstly, some of the EV experts are mentioning that they might offer the electric scooter with battery swapping technology as Honda already established e-swap technology in Bengaluru. So e-swap is nothing but a battery swapping technology setup where some commercial vehicles come to that particular ba battery swapping station. So they're going to swap the battery packs. Again, they will refill the battery pack. That's how they will use the e-swap technology. So in the similar manner, if Honda going to offer the e-swap technology, so then we need to expect different kind of range. If in case Honda offered battery pack along with the scooter, then we need to expect different range. And there is a reason for that as well. If in case Honda offers a battery pack as a swapping station network, so they, they're not going to sell the battery pack along with the scooter. They're going to offer the battery pack in the swapping stations. So then we can expect the range around 60 to 70 kilometers because customers need to come to the swapping station. They need to swap the battery pack. So if the battery packs are too heavy, it's difficult for them to swap the battery packs. So anywhere 60 to 70, kilome 70 kilometers of range, somewhat easy to swap the battery packs. So moreover, it is a swapping station network. So customers get more range. So no need to worry about range anxiety. Even they get 60 kilometers of range, they can go to the nearest swap station. They can swap the battery pack. So that's how it works. So if in case they're going to offer the battery pack along with the scooter. It can be a removable battery pack or a fixed battery pack. Then we can expect the range somewhere around 100 kilometers as the competitors TVS, Bajaj, Ola, Aether are offering minimum range of 95 to 100 kilometers of range. So that is the reason we can expect if in case Honda launches an electric scooter along with the swapping station network, less range we can expect. But if in case they, get, they offer the electric scooter along with the battery pack, then you can expect minimum of 100 kilometers of range. And what about the pricing of this electric scooter? As of now, there is no clear information. What is the price range Honda is targeting for the Indian customers? And now coming to the remaining factors, is India readying for the battery swapping technology? As of now, customers are not readying for the swapping station te technology. The reason is, if Honda are going to launch the swapping stations, if they confined for Bengaluru city, so then only customers limited in Bengaluru city need to opt for the Honda Active Electric Scooter or the Honda Electric Scooter. What about the remaining people, right? As long as they set up the swapping station, only then customers get accessibility. So company has to set up the battery swapping network first, 
then they need to offer the scooters in this particular scenario company need to confine to a certain amount of customers if they really want to expand the sales then they need to offer the battery pack along with the scooter so that they don't need to work about the swapping station network so that's the complete details about honda activa electric scooter or the honda upcoming electric scooter we can expect honda electric scooter to launch by march 2025 if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ev bro charge the nature try the future